SCP-649 is to be kept closed in a standard containment locker located within Site-77. It should not be opened unless testing is being performed. SCP-649 is not to be moved from its containment chamber unless testing is being performed. In case of containment failure, heating implements should be placed in the cell to inhibit SCP-649's effect. SCP-649 is a diamond brand matchbox, containing standard 32 match count. It has a mark on the underside of the box, resembling a snowflake. Whenever SCP-649 is left open for more than 15 minutes, or one of its matches is struck, note that striking a match does not light it or appear to alter it in any way, its anomalous properties will manifest. The area SCP-649 is held in will experience a sudden decrease in temperature, followed by strong winds. These winds will still develop if the item is indoors. When the temperature in the area SCP-649 inhabits reaches 0 degrees Celsius, SCP-649 will begin to exude large amounts of snow and sleet in a manner similar to SCP-2082. In addition, SCP-649's area of effect will rapidly increase to a radius of 1 kilometer. The sleet and snow will be continuously produced by SCP-649 until the entire radius is covered by snowfall at least 3 meters deep with a temperature below negative 30 degrees Celsius. SCP-649's area of effect will expand at a rate of 15 meters an hour continuously. In addition, tundra-like conditions will develop near the epicenter of SCP-649's effect, expanding at the same rate. The temperature within SCP-649's radius will stay at a constant negative 45 degrees Celsius. This effect will continue indefinitely, with the only known means of halting the expansion of the area of effect being to close SCP-649's lid. SCP-649 was discovered on April 19, 1987 from West Virginia. Reports had reached Foundation operatives indicating that the town was experiencing blizzard conditions which prompted investigation. SCP-649 was found in the center of the town within a cemetery. Agents were able to contain SCP-649 on June 16, 1987, classifying it as Euclid. Amnestics were dispersed to local citizens, and a cover story blaming the incident on global warming disseminated. SCP-649 was left open for approximately 1 hour and 48 minutes. After 1 hour and 45 minutes, children's laughing could be heard, and a snowball hit Dr. Pina. 3D class personnel were sent to investigate. When they did not return after an additional 20 minutes, SCP-649 was closed and containment protocol initiated. The D-Class personnel have not been recovered. When the tape was replayed, one of the D-Class could be seen led by small figures through the walls of the test chamber. Records on the missing personnel indicate all three, one male, two female, had had children who had died before adolescence. All testing with such personnel has been suspended. 